Ugh, artichokes. Pa! Pa! Sparrick's men are here! And they're stomping on the crops! Dear God, Joe, don't let them ruin our crops! Hey, get off our land! We got a message for you, farmer. Mr. Sterick wants to buy a farm. This land is mine, and I'm not going to sell it. Boss will give you double what you paid for. I wouldn't accept if you offered me half. Half? I said double. I don't care. I'm not going to buy anything that you've got to sell. Buy? Who said anything about buying? You did! You wanted to buy something, didn't you? Me? No. It's my boss wants to buy this pigsty. This pigsty is not for sale, and definitely not to a pig. Well, you know what, farmer? Boss told us that if you didn't agree to sell, we had to make you see sense another way. Boys, pull up the fences. And burn down the house. Don't take another step. Steric that Fenimore Fillmore is in town. What did you say you're called? Fillmore. Fenimore Fillmore. Oh, Fenimore Fillmore. Um, as I was saying, friend, I need a farmhand. There's a lot of work around here, and you'd share the profits. You seem like a guy who's tough, brave, hard, someone with guts. I don't want you to get the wrong idea. I don't know the first thing about farming, and I'm allergic to all kinds of plants. Take artichokes, for example. Just one artichoke could prove fatal. Where are my pistols? I feel naked without them. What? How? These guns are just toys. Heck, the kid must have taken mine. I've got to get them back. Hmm. 
No. Are you feeling better? Yes, thank you kindly, ma'am. Can I fix you something for breakfast? No, no thank you, ma'am. Just the thought of artichokes makes my belly quiver. Ugh. And Joe? He's gone to see Alvin. Alvin Jones, another farmer. They're planning to stand up to Sterrick's evil schemes. Good. I'll go find them. Yes, that would be best. I can't go out without my hat. Right. In this sun, you could get burned. Not possible. Calm down. I'll find your saddle for you. I don't think so. Please, if you don't mind, hang up your hat. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me, Mrs. Bannister. Stella. Call me Stella, please. Where is this Alvin Jones farm? You can't miss it. Apart from this one, it's the only farm left round here. How come there are only the two farms hereabouts? There were more, but Sterrick and his men managed to get rid of the rest. You're not afraid of Sterrick, are you? A little, but Joe helps me to be brave. Joe's a brave man. He's prepared to fight for his rights, for a fair deal. How long have you and Joe been married, Stella? Ten years on the 4th of July. Hey, you were married on Independence Day. I don't mean to be rude, but don't you have something you should be doing? What do you mean? You must have problems to solve, things to sort. You're right. I'd better go. Okay. We can chat another time. It's closed. That's mine and Joe's bedroom.
Yes, yes, you're settled. I'm on to it. Now what? Are you hungry? I'll see if I can find you something to eat. No. Not possible. It's not ready yet. I can't. No. <clears throat> Stella? Yes? I see you grow carrots. Yes. Do you like them? Not me, but my horse loves them. Well, take as many as you like for him. Just make sure they're big enough. When will the carrots be ready? They almost are. They just need a little more water. I'm gonna take a look around. See you later. <laughs> 